guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Holly. Today I'm going to be planning the week of April 16th in my B6 inserts, which are from Jesenia's Printables. I will leave that printable shop linked below. And the kit I'm gonna be using is this gorgeous kit from Shop Jessica Hearts. This was a kit I picked up last spring and never had a chance to use, and I debated de-stashing it, but I just kept coming back to it and I really didn't want to give it up. I kind of wanted to use it in my Erin Condren because I wanted to use a lot of foil, um, but it just didn't quite fit into my kit binder plans for my Erin Condren. So I'm going to use it in my B6, but I am going to be using a lot of foil. Apologies if you are looking for a less foiled spread. Sometimes I do make my um, B6 ones slightly less foiled, but this is going to be pretty... We're gonna go full foil, normal style here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I'm going ahead and getting started with some of the Simply Gilded Skinny Bow Washi along the bottom. I'm using the uh, newer light pink one with champagne gold bows. I think that's so pretty, I keep using it. I'm taking the quote box in the top corner and then for the actual format this week, I really have been liking this where I use the Rose Colored Days heart checklist um, as the to-do checklist, but then I leave a little bit of space below them so that I can fill in like a bill do or a video or something like that um, that might not naturally fit into the list um, but I just think that visually looks really nice um, and so yeah I've definitely been into that lately so I'm using the to do headers from the kit to top off those checklists I always find it a little hard to get them lined up page to page but once I do I am all set and then I'm going through with the full boxes I had a hard time deciding where to put what I really wanted um, to kind of space out the gray <clears throat> and floral boxes so I'm kind of mixing up here where I want to put stuff as you can see um, and just shifting stuff around and the boxes really just largely are decorative especially here because I on the front half I don't have the bottom washi um, I just have this the simply gilded so I like to add the full boxes there and then I am using the rose colored days foiled headers this is her champagne gold it's a little bit more matte than like a true foil but it's really Really, really pretty and it just gives a slightly softer look than like her full gold foil um, <clears throat> and I'd been using light gold a lot so I wanted to change it up and use the champagne and next I am using the bottom washi this was like one of the main reasons I bought this kit to begin with I loved this bottom washi so I knew I had to bring it in so I did um, use it just right across the bottom on both days. I don't need that much listing on the right. And then on the weekend, um, I just decided to skip the to-do checklist and um, use that space for the bottom washi instead. And then I am going back to the sidebar and there was a habit tracker from the kit. So I'm using that and just bringing in some more of the bow washi just cause it's pretty. And I use a list there for dinners for the week. She has a dinners header um, and so using that for dinners for the weekly ombre and then I use some of the leftover bottom washi at the bottom there just again because I love that print and I thought that was so gorgeous so I'm just kind of cutting that down to be the right size. <clears throat> Sorry my throat is... Ugh. I just ate dinner, so I guess it's all clogged in there. <laughs> Ew. Um, I was also checking to see if I liked that gray better than the pink in the sidebar, but I think I uh, decided to want I wanted to stick with the pink. As you can see, I went ahead and skipped the date covers. The one that came with the kit were a little bit too geometric, so I wasn't as into them. Anyway, on to Monday, I put a Happy Mail layered from the kit layered over a strip of washi just to mark down that I needed to go to USPS. And then I took a half box um, and a little workout stick uh, flag there from my Simply Watercolor Co. collab sheet to mark down going for a run that Monday. And then I did get the little nail polish that is from Simply Watercolor Co. and put that as kind of like the to-do space. And then I am taking um, hearts from Clever Gal Crafts and just putting those on all the video days before I forgot. And then back up to Tuesday, I had a bill due, so I used one of those bill due stickers from the kit. Um, to mark that and then I wanted to um, have a little reminder there for a 
uh, not for a bill being due, I'm honestly blanking on what it was, um, but I took a little asterisk from a sampler sheet from Rose Colored Days and layered it over a little thing. And then that night I had Elevate, so I took a workout sticker and a kettlebell from Simply Watercolor Co. And now I'm going back and shifting some things because I wanted to mark down um, that I really needed to pick up the house. Um, I guess I wanted to mark that down in the today section as opposed to the to-do um, section, although I did end up putting it in my to-dos as well. And then on Wednesday, I had a bill due that I hadn't paid yet when I did this plan with me. So um, I put like an extra attention by adding that don't forget script from Rose Colored Days. And then I also used a little icon from the kit. And then on Wednesday, we did have a cleaning appointment. So I took a large flag and then layered a cute little foil uh, spray bottle from Clever Gal Crafts over top of it. And then I wanted to do a little yoga at night. So I just took a little workout script again from Simply Watercolor Co., um, oh, I decided to move that, um, but I'm just using that quarter box to identify my workout. And I used a little weights icon instead from a rose colored day sheet. And then the heart was to mark down on um, the heart little thing to mark down that my husband had a happy hour after work. Then on Thursday, I wanted to plan to go to Starbucks in the morning. So I'd layered the coffee cup from the kit over a little thing. And then I am taking a half box to mark down that I needed to lift during lunch at work. Um, so I'm going to take a cute little gym day flag again from the Simply Watercolor Co. sheet. And then at the bottom there, I wanted to note down that it was trash day. So I took a little foiled trash icon from Magic Prince Co. Then on to Friday, um, I am taking a flag and a icon from the kit to mark down that it's team lunch on Friday. I don't always mark that. Sometimes I do. Honestly, I just wanted to fill in some space here. And then that night we were going to elevate for like an elevate channel challenge. So the kettlebell is from Rose Colored Days and the workout sticker is from Simply Watercolor Co. And then afterwards we had a happy hour um, after like with the people from the gym. So I marked that and then I layered the payday kit or the payday sticker from the kit over top of some washi. On to Saturday, I am taking a half box there to mark down DC Beer Fest. I took a little bow sticker from Clarigal Crafts to note that down. And then I wanted to note down Laundry Day. That Laundry Day sticker is from the Nikki Plans collab sheet with Rose Colored Days. And then I just kind of put a little um, box there to mark down whatever I ended up doing at night. Uh, on to Sunday, the time to plan is from the kit. Um, the half box I was kind of leaving open to mark down what I've ended up planning for Sunday. And then for uh, the video, I used another Clever Gal Crafts heart. And then I think I am gonna shift some things around. Yeah, so I used a My Newest Addiction little bow clip as a reminder to like uh, the Westworld and was going to be premiering and then I just shifted the um, the video down into the full box. And then I took the other little uh, weekly ombre for the uh, to mark down my Instagram schedule and I'm using like some icons from the kits uh, kind of almost as like little functional deco to decorate the other pages adding in some foil um, and just all sorts of little bits and bob that I have left over here. I just think it's kind of cute to do this because these otherwise can look kind of white spacey. So um, I thought this was pretty cute. So that is pretty much it for this spread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up as always. If you did, um, I, in my latest Aaron Condren video, I talked a little bit about like what kind of planning versus I'm going to be doing. So check that out if you haven't and let me know your opinion over there. Um, and yeah, that is it for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will check you in the next video. Bye.